Welcome to Risk Forever channel guys. My name is Champion Ever. And today we are going to review one of my games. Let's get started. Today we are playing 6 player fixed cards game on classic Risk map. Time per turn is 60 seconds. Time in fixed cards is not that much important as in progressive cards. However sometimes there are situations when you need to think and act really fast, especially when it comes to the end game. And it can be very crucial. Anyways, this time I'm playing against one beginner rank player who is blue, and even four novice rank players who are orange, green, yellow, and purple. Guys, I don't know why but I feel like I will get crushed by these novices. But I hope I'm wrong. Let's hope it's just a bad feeling. It's always a challenge to play against lower rank players. Most of them are very aggressive and attack you a lot. So it can be a struggle to hold a continent. But let's see how the game goes this time. As always, wish me best of luck guys. I will need it. Keep your fingers crossed for me. OMG guys. Did you see? These novices, purple and yellow crushed each other in Australia, la la la. Please guess who has 10 troops army in Asia, and will slowly start to move towards Australia. Hmm. I feel like I've got very lucky this time. I hope they will continue to fight. I really hope so. Remember guys, no Australia, no win. That is every novice's motto. They will do anything to get Australia. They try to get the continent at any cost. But don't always see that they clear out the continent for a third player. That's a perfect opportunity for me to wait, and secretly sneak in. They don't see that coming, do they? I will get Australia with such ease. Like look guys, everything is going according to my plan. The yellow player will probably finish capturing Australia in the next turn. And then the purple player tried to take it from him. As you can see he fortified his troops from Europe to Asia, and will definitely go for Australia. I know he wants to. As soon as the yellow player captures Australia, the purple player will totally go full power at him. Destroying both of them. So guess who will get Australia? Hmm. That will be me. I'm feeling so excited about this situation. That will be my time to shine. Showtime. Champion ever time. Words cannot describe how I'm waiting for this to happen. Well, not so long to wait. I have some patience. Let's see that to happen. Yes purple, you added the troops to the right place. Now be a good boy and destroy the yellow player for me please. Oh come on purple, come on. You went to the totally wrong direction. You're such a bad boy. Shoot, apparently my plan didn't go in the way it's supposed to. What am I going to do? The purple player is not fighting with the yellow player anymore. He probably noticed what I was up to. Or maybe he uses the same plan as me, he hopes that I will attack yellow, so after that he will take Australia easy from me, especially if he has a set. Well, in any case purple made a great decision by not attacking yellow. Well, anyways the yellow player just turned in a set, and now Australia will belong to him and only him. Guys, I have an idea. How about if I take the purple player out? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Let's do this guys. Here I come. Goodbye purple, that's a great thing you haven't been Australian turtle. Australia took yellow who is a good fellow. Oh god. The things doesn't look too good for the blue player. The odds say he will be taken out. Here the orange player comes. Goodbye blue, it was fun to play with you. Here your time flies, and we even haven't been allies. The orange player met you with an uncomfortable surprise, so you couldn't even empathize. Ha! Huh. In your face orange. You couldn't get the green player. He will be taken out by me. Now it's the stage of the game when only three players are left, and now the balance of the game gets really important. It's a good thing the yellow player tried to invade orange into North America. The orange player cannot have both of the Americas, unless the yellow player gets Asia, then the game will be balanced. But for now I must to invade him. Let's do this. 
I will keep my big army in North America, so the orange player won't be able to regain it. Yeah, that's how my plan currently sounds. Wait, I have a bad feeling about orange guys. I'm scared. Wow. LOL guys. I cannot believe the orange player blitzed that army. He totally ruined the game for me and himself as well. Now the yellow player is going to win for sure. The balance of the game has been broken. Well, we might recover somehow. We will see about that. Wish me best of luck guys. Now I need to be friends with the orange player. We must ally to survive. Otherwise we will get crushed by yellow. I will let him to hold North America and recover. I'm recapturing continents again, and I really hope I will be able to hold at least South America. Let's see what the orange player is up to. Wow, come on orange, you're such a beach. It is the yellow's player job to invade me, not yours. To attack me into Europe can be understandable, but you were even trying to go deeper to invade Africa as well. We must reunite if we still want to have some chances to win against the yellow player. Wow, I'm totally dead guys. No chances to win for me anymore. Let's recapture South America guys. I know that these players most likely won't let me to hold it, so I pulled my troops back. I will only lose one troop instead of five. The yellow player made such a big mistake by letting for orange to hold North America. The yellow player could have easily won, but now the game can go in any direction. The orange player attacked me again as expected, when he totally shouldn't. At least he have got a good blitz role to invade the yellow player as well. And the yellow player isn't smart enough and lets to hold North America for the orange player again. I guess we will have some chances. Let's see if I will be able to survive. I turned in a set. And instead of putting my troops to South America, I put them in Europe. These players don't let me to hold South America anyways, so they can fight for it if they want. And destroy each other. That would be nice. I'm about to be without any continent and put my troops into one big army. This is that I always do in fixed card games when players don't let me to hold any continent at all. I will either stay neutral, or will help one player to deal with another one, if I see that one of them is getting too strong. Give this video a thumbs up guys. It only takes you a second but it means a lot to me. Support my channel by doing it right now. Also subscribe for even more episodes of Risk. I'm a Grandmaster Ranked player who shares a lot of Risk tips, tricks and strategy videos. Push the notification bell to see them first. Drastically improve your gameplay by simply watching risk videos. Nice yellow. Destroy that lethal aggressor orange. Well, yellow. Sorry not sorry but I have to attack you as well. I attacked yellow only into Africa because I know that orange has a set as he has 5 cards. So he will attack the rest. Good job orange. Destroy that intimidating enemy yellow. No mercy for him. Show him all the power you have. Very, very nice. Will yellow retaliate? Yes, he will. Go yellow, go go go. I believe in you. Sweet, since the yellow player invaded orange, I didn't have to do that myself. So let's just continue to build my army and attack per turn once just to get a card. Orange's turn, he is recapturing North America. Will yellow player invade him again? We will see about that. Come on yellow. Be a good boy and attack orange once again. Oh yes, I love you yellow. All of your efforts to attack the orange player are highly appreciated. Let's just continue to use my strategy guys. I will build up my army while meanwhile my enemies destroy each other. They totally don't know anything about the balance of the game I see. Their main and only goal is to invade any continent other player has. And also have a continent for themselves as well. They won't see how quickly my army became big enough to take both of them out in a single turn, la la la. They will get wrecked. It's a good strategy against novice rank players. To camp out somewhere in neutral place, and slowly build your army. 
watching the world burn and waiting when both of your opponents combined will have less troops than you. Well, sometimes one of your opponents become way stronger than another one, in that case you need to help the weaker one. And after the balance of the game is sustained again, then become neutral again. But you should also be looking for perfect opportunities to take an advantage by yourself. And it seems I see a perfect opportunity to take Australia from the yellow player. He doesn't even guard it properly anymore. Let's do this guys. By taking Australia I'm helping the orange player as well. The orange player isn't strong enough to attack yellow anymore, so if the yellow player would have been holding these continents for multiple turns, then eventually he would have surpassed me and orange in troops. But since I took Australia from him, he won't. We will be getting equal number of troops each turn. But still, currently I have more troops than him. Plus another advantage I have against the yellow player, is that orange will definitely be so desperate and try to regain North America the yellow player has currently invaded. Meanwhile my Australia cannot be touched neither by orange, nor by yellow. While they still be fighting, I will still be building up troops. But this time sitting in Australia and getting two additional troops. And by the way, for those who aren't familiar with my channel yet, my name is Champion Ever. And in this channel I'm sharing relevant risk global domination tips and tricks that will help you to increase your rank in no time. I upload my videos constantly, I try to make them short and informative but also entertaining at the same time. I'm currently Grandmaster and have over 1000 hours of experience which I want to share with you. Most people want to know how to win at risk. Are you one of them? If so, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe and start grinding those rank points right now. Yellow player's turn. He traded in set, and it seems he is going for orange. Will he have enough time, and is it really worth it for him? Hmm. Apparently he was too slow. He wasted a lot of time before he even started to attack, it took like 20 seconds for him to start the attack phase. So since the yellow player failed to take out the orange player out, that means I won. I have around the same number of troops as both of the players combined. Let's take both of them out. I have already took orange and now it's time for yellow. Will I have enough time though? Hmm. Remember guys to practice every day, also check out some of my other videos and playlists. Step by step you will improve and then only skies become the limit. I want that you would become as good as me. Set the goal and reach that grandmaster rank god dang it.